guys, just another quick video for you here today and I thought I'd do a pickups video since it's been about a month since the last one. Um, yeah, I've got quite a few things. I've got some new hardware and some games and um, yeah, I'll try and run through it pretty quickly but I'll start off with the hardware that I got and first off I got a Sega Saturn here and I paid £15 for this delivered. This is a Model 2 version Saturn, PAL. It's got the grey round buttons on it. Uh, yeah, it came with a controller. Still got to clean all these things up. Came with the controller, uh, one game, and the power cable. Didn't come with the video cable, um, which is probably one of the reasons why it was a wee bit cheaper than usual. But it came with this game here, Crime Wave, and uh, I checked this out on eBay, and this actually goes for about £10 on its own anyway. It's kind of a rare game, so that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, I've not played it yet because I don't have the video cable, but it kind of looks like a cross between. There's a free game on Xbox 360 called Dash of Destruction. And it kind of looks a, like a cross between that and Grand Theft Auto. But uh, yeah, looking forward to playing that. Disc is a bit messed up and there's, there's no manual, but hopefully it will play. Uh, yeah, so. It was a sad thing I got. Oh yeah, it's a, I was watching a video of a fellow YouTuber's uh, channel the other day called Wells Raphael. Hopefully I'm saying his name right there. Uh, yeah, but this is actually missing the rear cover here. And I need to pin your battery in. But anyway, um, this is one of the... He was telling us about the different models of uh, Sega Saturn that you can get. And uh, which ones you can mod and which ones you can't and all that kind of stuff. But... Uh, yeah, apparently I'll put a link down there so you can check it out if you want. But apparently this is one of the ones that is a, I think it's a 64 pin Saturn. And uh, it's not as easy to mod these. Uh, but no biggie. Um, I'll maybe try out the, the swap disc method that he mentioned as well. Um, yeah, next up we got a, a new gun for the Sega Dreamcast. I'd never seen one of these before, it only cost me £5, so I uh, picked it up. We deep pad it back there. Um, it's called the Pelican. Just wait for the ambulance and stuff to go past my house. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Rubberized grip. Uh, pretty good quality. Uh, it's got the wee double trigger thing here as well, B button. But, uh, yeah, for five quid, pretty good. Um, kind of the a couple of junk items I picked up. Got some more uh, controllers for the GameCube. These were only 75 pence each. Um, third party, they're kind of rubbishy. And the D-pad in that is ridiculously small. And this one's got turbo and stuff on it. Um, and this one, the B button, is actually hidden behind the <laughs> second analog stick, so you can't even use it properly. But yeah, whatever. 75p, if I pick them up anyway. So in the, the games I got, I actually picked up a copy of Doom for the 32X, but I don't have a 32X because, well, I'd, I'd actually bought one off eBay, and the guy I bought it from tried to, to scam me, basically. So um, I'd ordered it off eBay, and I was waiting for it to arrive, and in the meantime I thought, well, I need to buy some games for it, so I picked this up. And then, like, three weeks later, I still didn't have the 32X and emailing the guy and all this kind of stuff, and you, you basically just ignored me, so I had to go through PayPal and get my money back. Uh, but yeah, now I'm left with a copy of Doom that I can't play. I'll get a 32X at some point, so... Um, yeah, that only cost me, like, three quid, so... And it's the uh, American version, so... I'll need to, if I get a PAL 32X, I'll probably need to do a mod so that I can play that, but that's not a problem. Got some more games for the Engage, some of the rarer ones. So I picked up Bomberman, five quid, really good deal. Complete. Katan, again, five quid. This one's not complete, missing the manual. Everything else is in, in there though, so. But it's because it, I'd usually only pick up the complete games, but because these are so rare now that I'm not even going to bother. I'd rather just have like a boxed game than no game at all. 
and high seas. Again, five pounds. Um, it's missing the manual, but it did come with the high seas map, and it's got all the other bits there. So five quid. And Pathway to Glory. This is like the the second uh, game in Kusa Island. Again, this one's complete. And five pounds for that. But these are all pretty rare now, so. Um, I'm not going to be too fussy if I can't get them with the manual and everything, so yeah. Um, picked up Biohazard, Code Veronica. It's the Japanese version of uh, Resident Evil. And it paid five quid for this, delivered on eBay, which is a really good deal. Um, it comes with all the bits and pieces of your manuals and whatnot. Um, it's a two disc edition, so yeah. It didn't, it's got kind of cracks and stuff like that, and uh, but I'm not too bothered about that. I can always change those out, but for five pounds delivered, I thought that was a really, really good deal. And uh, yeah, you can play that on your Dreamcast if you've got like a well, if you obviously if you've got your a Japanese Dreamcast, but you can use that boot disc to, to play it on different regions as well. So. For the original Xbox I picked up Panzer Dragon, Orta, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm guessing it is. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a rail shooter. It's a, kind of a rarer game for the original Xbox, so I paid $2.99 for this. It's quite good fun. And bought a load of games for the Mega Drive. I won't show you them all, I'll just show you the ones that I like. Or think is, uh, we're the best deal. So I've got Sonic 3D here, mint condition, uh, game manual, everything like that. Uh, paid five quid for that, delivered. Sonic compilation. It's got one and two, and Doctor Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine on it. Uh, that Mean Bean Machine game is a bit rubbish. It's a wee bit disappointed by that. It's basically just like Columns. Miss Pac-Man. Mega Drive, quite good fun. Paid four quid for that, I think. Again, that's like completing everything. Afterburner 2, classic game, really, really good. Again, it's in mint condition and everything. Uh, game and manual. It's missing the wee thing here, but to be honest, I really don't like those wee tab things anyway, so that's no problem to me. And the best one of all I got was uh, Robocop vs. The Terminator. This is really, really good fun. Um, again, this is in really, really good condition. Game and manual. Uh, yeah, it's kind of just like a, an old school side scrolling shooter. Uh, but it's lots of fun. Uh, yeah, and a couple of other things I picked up. Went to the pound shop and saw that they had official rock band drum uh, sticks here. And these are only a pound, obviously. Uh, being from the pound shop, so I picked up nine packs of these because um, I really like playing rock band and guitar hero drums, and uh, I really like the official drumsticks. They feel really good. The problem is they, they kind of tend to break a lot, um, and these were like ten quid off Amazon. And, uh, I was thinking of buying a, a new set anyway, so when I went in there, I saw these for like a quid, so I was like, yeah, I'll pick up as many as I can. So I got nine packs of those. So that should keep me should keep me drumming for quite a while. And finally, I uh, picked up these as well. These are a pound as well, so kind of guitar straps for your uh, guitar hero guitar. They had four different versions, so I picked up like one of each and gave a couple of ways like uh, gifts to my friends and whatever. But uh, yeah, got these for myself. So that's pretty good, not a good deal. Uh, but that's everything for today. Um, I should have uh, more videos soon. Um, I've not been posting as many videos lately. Mostly just because I'm lazy, no other reason. And I've been playing a lot of games on the uh, 360 as well. So, uh, But yeah, I'll have more videos up soon. Um, I'll need to finish off that Nintendo Entertainment System GameCube mod. Um, got a couple of gameplay videos to do, as I say, but. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, thanks to the new subscribers and everything. Um, 
I got a few over the last couple of weeks and I've not really had a chance to leave comments on their channels or whatever but uh, yeah thanks for the new uh, subscribers on it. Yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again soon.